Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today's video is a collab with Taylor Elmore. I'm sure you're familiar with Taylor's channel, but if not, I'll have it linked down in my description box below as soon as you're done watching my video. Head on over, show her some love, and let her know that I sent you. I know you'll love her. Taylor is one of my favorite YouTubers. She's one of the channels that actually um, inspired me to create my own channel. I've mentioned her several times. I've made several of her recipes that she shared, several grocery items that she shared, and we have enjoyed everything. Taylor is super, super super sweet. She's a wife and a mama to um, Lily and Elijah, a little boy and little girl, and she does realistic, real life, what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, day in the lives, all kinds of great content. So like I said, I know you'll love her. Check her out. If you're coming to my channel from Taylor's, welcome. Like I said, my name is Megan. I do weekly what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, and other recipes. So I hope that you'll take a look around my channel and consider subscribing if you're not already. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the meals that we had this past week. Now, if you're new to my channel, I will put out a disclaimer. This is not at all a typical week for us. Not at all. We ate out pretty much every night this week because my husband and I were traveling out of state for business, um, but I have a whole playlist of what's for dinner videos that I will link down in the description box below. So if you're looking for some weeknight meal ideas for your family, check out that playlist link and come back next week because next week's what's for dinner video will be back to normal. So like I said, I'll share with you what we have for dinner this week. Most meals are eating out because of traveling, but let me show you what we had. So like I mentioned, we were out of town on business. We traveled from our home near Nashville, Tennessee to Delaware. And if you're wondering, well, why didn't you just fly? I've mentioned this before. I absolutely hate flying. I'm terrified of it. I flew for the first time in my life a couple years ago, and it was from Nashville to Dallas and back, and it was one of the worst experiences of my life. I hated it in every way. So I absolutely will drive if I possibly can. So um, we did kind of break it up though. So it wasn't just one straight drive. So we first drove from Nashville to, I think it was called like Wytheville, Virginia. And we hadn't eaten while we were traveling. And so we stopped at Applebee's. We haven't had Applebee's in quite a while. So to get started, we got their spinach and artichoke dip. We also got their chicken wonton tacos. For our entrees, I got their, I think it's called the Bourbon Street chicken and shrimp, which is basically just grilled chicken, grilled shrimp, grilled mushrooms and onions with mashed potatoes. And I've never had that before at Applebee's. It was delicious. It was really good. And then my husband got their like barbecue, um, cheeseburger with cheese fries. And that was dinner for our first night of traveling. For dinner the next night, we had traveled from Virginia to Wilmington, Delaware, and we just door dashed uh, some food from a local Thai restaurant. My husband got their shrimp and chicken pad thai, and then I got, I'm sure I'll mispronounce this, but I will do my best. I believe it's pronounced pad cu. Um, I think I got the pork, but that was dinner this night, and it was really good, but we, we love Thai food, so you can't go wrong with Thai food with us. For dinner the next night, we had planned on eating out at a restaurant that we wanted to try, but it was a really, really long day, and we were exhausted and just ready to get back to the hotel room and relax and kind of de-stress a little, so we just door dashed um, some Mediterranean food. My husband got like a mixed plate, so it had rice, uh, lamb, chicken, and I'm I think it's pronounced beef kofta and then it came with a salad i got a lamb gyro and then we got some hummus that came with pita bread and my husband got the grape leaves the hummus was delicious it was really really good and my gyro was amazing now to be honest my husband's meal it really wasn't that good um he asked me to try it because he's like is it just me um but his all three of his meats were super super dry and hard um, so he really didn't eat a lot of that, but my gyro was huge. So we just split the gyro and then between the salad and hummus and um, the grape leaves, um, you know, he was full. So that was our dinner this night. The next night was kind of a repeat of the night before. Once again, we had dinner plans to go out and try a new restaurant, but it was a really, really long day and we just wanted to go back to the hotel again and rest. So um, we ordered from an Italian restaurant and let me just say, I don't know if you can tell by the pictures, but these portions were ginormous. They were huge. My husband got um, a seafood pasta and as you can tell, there is a ton of seafood on this 
and they're really great size portions. It's not like little teeny tiny scrawny shrimp and it was in a light like butter lemon sauce. And then I got tortellini with prosciutto and peas. Now I goofed up. You could choose between two different sauces and I meant to choose on the Alfredo, I meant to choose rather the Alfredo sauce. And I guess I clicked on the tomato sauce. Um, so that was mine. Mine was good. I would have rather it been the white sauce, but it was still good. And then our entrees came with some bread and side salads. The next day we traveled from Delaware to Bristol, Virginia and stayed the night there. Um, there was a Texas Roadhouse a couple minutes away from the hotel and when we saw it we were like yes that is where we are having dinner. We love Texas Roadhouse and we haven't been in a while. There's really not one um, close to us. It's 30 or so minutes away so we don't go very frequently but we really enjoy it. And if you've been there before you know uh, they bring you out their yeast rolls with uh, some like honey cinnamon butter. They are so good. The, the rolls are so light and airy and that butter is delicious and then for an appetizer we got like their deep fried onion it's kind of like the blooming onion and outback but to be honest i kind of think it's better i like the sauce a little more and then for the entrees my husband got their filet medallions with sauteed onions and mushrooms and cheese and um a that came with rice and then he got a loaded baked potato and uh, both of our entrees came with salads but i forgot to get pictures of them he just had a side salad with thousand island and then for my dressing i've never tried this at um texas roadhouse before can't remember what it's called but it was uh, grilled chicken with sauteed onions and mushrooms a little cheese and some mashed potatoes and then of course i had a side salad with some ranch dressing and this was delicious we hadn't eaten um since at like seven o'clock that morning or so so our eyes were a little bigger than our stomachs we ended up taking half of the onion blossom home uh, or not home <laughs> to the hotel and eating it later and then my husband couldn't even eat his uh, potato but this was delicious it was so good we love texas roadhouse The next day we had traveled from Virginia back home and um, we didn't really have any meat thawed or any fresh produce or anything and I did not feel like cooking so we just made sandwiches for dinner. We had a couple of these steak rolls that were in the pantry that needed to be used up. We had some ham and then um, during our trip at some point we had grabbed these Doritos from like a gas station. So this is what I had. I just had an, a quick ham sandwich. Didn't really put anything on it. Just a little little bit of mayonnaise and then later on my husband um, made himself a ham sandwich and ate the rest of the Doritos. For the last dinner in this week's video, I was finally back to making food at home. Yay! Like, when you go on vacation, I think in theory it sounds nice to be able to eat out and not have to cook. But after a couple days, I don't know about you all, but I'm, I'm over the eating out. I'm ready for home-cooked meals. <laughs> um, so I would went to the grocery store this day. I was ready to cook. Now, I have been wanting the broccoli cheddar chicken from Cracker Barrel, but I think it's a special only on one day or so a week. But it has sounded good to me so I looked online found a recipe so I'm going to give that a try and make that let me show you how I made that and the rest of dinner I've got the oven preheating to 350 degrees I'll include a link to the recipe in the description box below here I've got two chicken breasts that I just cut into smaller pieces the recipe says to season them with some salt and pepper but I'm also going to use some of this video complete and just season both sides and set that uh, to the side in this separate bowl, I'm going to add a can of cheddar cheese soup along with milk, shredded cheddar cheese, paprika, and I'm going to stir that really well until it's combined. Now, if you can't find the cheddar cheese soup or you don't have it on hand, I would imagine you could use cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, whatever you've got. Obviously, this was my first time making it, so I don't know from experience, but I would imagine you could swap it out. So once I've got that mix, I'm going to move it to the side, spray a casserole dish with some cooking spray. I'm going to lay my chicken breasts into the baking dish. Then I'm going to pour the cheese mixture over the chicken and spread it out. Now I did go off the recipe just a little bit. So the recipe suggests that you add half of the layer of cheese, then add the chopped broccoli like I'm doing here, then add crushed Ritz crackers, and then the other half of the cheese. But instead of doing that, I just added all of the cheese, then the broccoli, and for the Ritz crackers, I crushed them up and added a couple tablespoons of melted butter to the top and sprinkled the crushed crackers on top. So that's more like a, a breakfast, or not breakfast, a broccoli casserole. Um, but either way, I'm sure it would be delicious. It's just 
depends on your personal preference. Now, when I was looking in the freezer, I saw this little baggie of Sister Schubert rolls. I had gotten a big bag of these at Sam's Club. So I'm just gonna cook these according to the package instructions to have along with dinner. For my side, I made some air fryer baked sweet potatoes. I washed them really well, pierced them a couple times with a fork. I'm going to cook them at 390 degrees. Now, as you can see from the picture, one of the sweet potatoes is quite a bit thicker than the other. So I cooked that one by itself for about 12 minutes. And then I added the other smaller sweet potato. I cooked it for another maybe about 12 minutes flipped both of them and cooked them for another 12 minutes so the thinner one cooked for about 30 minutes the thicker one cooked for about 45 minutes for loaded baked sweet potatoes as far as your toppings go you really can go a savory route or sweet route i prefer the sweet so i'm going to add a sprinkle of brown sugar and cinnamon and i didn't have any softened butter so i'm going to add a little bit of this country crock here is that finished casserole. I did allow it to sit for about 10 minutes before I served it up just to allow the sauce to kind of thicken a little. Once the rolls were out of the oven, I brushed them with some of that country crock. And then here are the plates. So we have a roll, the sweet potatoes, and the uh, broccoli cheddar chicken. This was delicious. It was so good to have a home cooked meal. I'm grateful that, you know, we were able to eat out while we were traveling, but it's nice to be home and to be back in the swing of things. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I know this video was unusual, but hopefully you still got some inspiration from it. Make sure you head on over to Taylor's channel. Again, it'll be linked in the description box below, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.